Well, hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. And right here in this box, I've got the Delta Printer Go 3D printer. Within this cardboard is supposedly a wonderful little machine that will brighten my day and print whatever my heart desires. I'm excited to open this and administer the first print. So let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, uh, welcome back. It's late, which means I'm probably not within the right frame of mind to do this, but I don't care. This is awesome. I want to open this. This is the Delta Printer Go 3D printer. It is a Delta style printer and it's tiny. I think it retails for $4.99. Shy over at Delta Printer said, Joel. And I said, Shy. And he said, would you like a Delta Printer Go? I would love for you to have a Delta Printer Go. You should have a Delta Printer Go. So here it is. It made its way here. Let's open the box. My trusty knife is in another room and currently the light shining on my face is blocking the exit to the room. So I'm gonna use this chisel and hopefully open up this box. <laughs> We have cracked open the box. All right, Chisel, you've done good work. I will set you aside. Right from the get-go, right at the top of this box is the printer. Some plastic. I think, I think we might just be able to pull the printer right out. Well, all that's left in this box is foam, so the printer is now unboxed. All right, now the real work begins. We must take the plastic off and see what we can make happen with this printer. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Okay, and the plastic I will put over here. I read on the website, it's this little tiny hot end and look at that, it's so tiny. All right, I'm gonna put you down right there. Shy, you and your Delta printer people, you guys like your blue tape. I guess that's good because it holds everything in place. I'm, I'm not upset by any means, but just wanna let you know that I noticed. I noticed the care you put into this. Well, there we go. Let's open this box. Let's see what's in this box. Aha. This is your glory. Share the moment. All right. This looks like a power supply. Maybe some arms. Here's a USB cable. Here's an SD card adapter. Okay, there's no, no micro SD card in there. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the US power cable, and this must be the power supply. Excellent. There are no instructions in the box, so let me get my laptop. Before I go get my laptop, I think I figured it out. These are magnetic and I believe they are going to go like this. They're going to hold it up. I think. Just like that. Well, let's get these on. All right, here's one. And you want over here. Okay. Two more. Excellent. That doesn't look too shabby. There is an SD card in the back right here. Four gigs. Excellent. Look at that, it lit up. We will have to figure this out. And now I get to go get my laptop. All right, I found my MacBook and I did some research and it looks like there's a getting started guide on the website. So what it did have me do is attach the metal arms, which I already did. It had me download Ultimaker Cura from the Delta Printer website. 
It had me add the Delta Printer Go profile to Cora. It had me download a 20 millimeter cube. It had me load that on there. And now it says I need to calibrate the printer. So I guess uh, follow along. At this point, we need to rerun calibration. And what the instructions say to do is unplug from USB, unplug from power, and then slowly move the carriages down until this tip is touching the bed. All right, it says now that it's touching the bed and it's got a temperature, it means I need to run this custom command and it looks like it says it's M32 auto calibration code dot G code. It says this process is gonna take roughly five minutes to complete, so we'll come back when this is done. Looks like it's done, it tapped around on this metal plate quite a number of times over the last five minutes or so, but it said, hey, once it's done, it's going to bring it back up and it's gonna turn green if it's good. It's green, it's good. Oh, you know what? I did miss a step. It did say that when I was done with the calibration, I was supposed to unplug the printer and plug it back in. I did forget that, so now, all right, we're operational, 184. And then I hit the up arrow to activate the heater carriage cartridge. There it goes, it turns blue. Blue means heating, I think. It says when it turns red, it's at temperature. And being that that is so tiny, it's gonna heat up real quick. In fact, I could just touch it, I could hold my hand on it. Oh, I'm kidding, I'm just kidding, don't do that. After you cut this at a sharp angle, you're supposed to put it into this hole. You push here to release some of the tension. I think I see it. I think that looks good. According to the instructions, now it's time to put down some blue painter's tape. Luckily, I still have some. I haven't used blue painter's tape in quite a while, but I know it works, and this is what it calls for, so I'm gonna put it right there in the center. That should be, oops, it's a little too much. There we go. Once the tape is down, it wants you to put isopropyl alcohol on a paper towel, and then it wants you to rub the blue tape just a little bit. Luckily, I happen to have paper towels, and I happen to have isopropyl alcohol. Now we click print. Let's see what happens. A little bit of stuff right there at the end. I'm just gonna get that. All right, stuff is happening. The Delta printer Go is going. It's doing. I, I did get the tape in the right spot, apparently. Here, I'm gonna zoom in for you, just a sec. There we go. I'm zooming in with my iPhone. And look at that thing go. That looks like a square. And it looks like a square being made on some blue painter's tape. So look, there's the filament right there. And it's loading in right there. It's going up the Bowden tube, down into the tiny, tiny hot end, and it's printing. It doesn't look like there's a filament fan on this hot end. And I know we're just printing a cube right now, so we'll have to see if that makes a difference with anything else. I'm also really curious about these magnetic arms. That's kind of interesting in itself. All right, let's zoom out. All right, we've unboxed this printer. We've gone through the instructions. We found out what to do. We, <laughs> there's only one thing left to do. And very specifically in an email, Shy of Delta Printer said, don't forget to shake the printer. I don't know. I'm shaking it. I'm shaking it. And apparently that did nothing. 
Awesome. Well, that was kind of fun. I've never shook a printer before while it's been printing. In fact, um, most of the people that 3D print things will tell you not to shake your 3D printer while you're printing, but Shy told me to shake it, so I shook it. Good job, little printer. All right, we can now consider the Delta printer go unboxed and we can consider it first printed. It looks like this 20 millimeter cube is going along just fine. The sidewalls look good. The infill looks good. I have a feeling this is going to complete. This first cube finished, but it's got some under extrusion on the top. And so I started another one and I'm getting the dreaded clicking noise. And it looks like it's jammed. It was making that clicking noise on the first cube when it was doing the under extrusion and I thought maybe 185 was a little bit cold. So I bumped the temperature to 201. And we either have a jam or something else is going on. I don't know at this point, it's kind of late, so I'm going to have to abandon this printer for the night and uh, come back to it uh, in a day or so when I have some time. Um, Shoot, I was kind of hoping this would uh, just kind of rock and roll, but it looks like I got a jam or something wrong right out of the gate. I will investigate and I will update you guys when I know more.